Gareth Evans, an experienced Sevens player, along with Dan Robson. They've played in all three JP Morgan Premiership Rugby Sevens thus far. Johnny May, the captain. Watch out for number 12, Ian Clark. We saw him last season. He is a real whippet of a wing. Brixton Chiefs, well, they've gone with their novices, they've gone with their academy. Lots of young guys looking to make an impression. Mike Pope, really a sevens specialist wearing four. Luke Trahan, Welsh sevens, a very experienced sevens player. It's going to be down to those two to really direct traffic in this first game. Possession, nine-tenths of the law, if not all of it, in sevens. And now Gloucester looking to expose the defence that's really having to struggle back into position. Gareth Evans trying to drive his way up towards that five metre line. Burns. Johnny May, captain this evening. There's Edmonds. Looking to get the offload in, but clamped on by Exodan. Here they come breaking away. Pope sends it out. They've got some gas in this Exeter side, so if there's a space, they're going to use it. And nobody uses it better than number six, Jack Arnott. Well, opportunity knocks. A wonderful breakaway, all came from the turnover. And Exeter just went up a gear. Crouch. Touch. Pause. Engage. Good work from Robson, hounding Tran. Dan Robson going around the outside. And Dan Robson gets the shed up on their feet. Well, they're up on their feet already, but with a try on the board for the home side. Dan Robson, well, he can play in either half-back position. He wears a number nine for the for England when he plays for the age groups and switches to number 10 when he plays for Hartbury College. You can see the skill set that allows him to do that. Great kickoff. Kickoffs often underestimated in sevens, but a real chance to steal the ball back for Gloucester. They do that perfectly. Right, here's Ian Clark watching go. That is pure and utter gas. The gas man coming, and his name is Ian Clark. Sorry, Exeter probably expected to have the ball back. They get caught napping a little bit. But again, that change of direction and then the acceleration and really good strength to stay on his feet under some pretty heavy challenges coming in. Drawn little kick and chase, but Robson gets the bounce of the ball. And look at those dancing feet, just setting him away. Ops for the kick and chase. Right, Pope goes back, but <laughs> look at the speed of that man, Jack Arnott. Little chip through, the cover coming across from Freddie Burns. And Burns doing well, good strength from Burns. And Burns working his way up to the 22 and finds Ian Clark. Now, Ian Clark will put his foot to the floor, pedal to the metal, and it's way bye-bye, boys. Brilliant by Burns. Just what we wanted to see. Look at this, shrugs off one, hands off one, and then the feet just to go through the middle of two more. And then four defenders taken out. There's nothing that the boys in pink can do to keep their eye on the speed man on the outside. Well, he's just biding his time now. Johnny May slaloming his way through, gets the ball away. Edmonds shepherds it on. And the cutback is inside, and that's Gareth Evans with the fourth try for the home side. Johnny May makes the right decision. Good spatial awareness of what players he's got outside and what they're faced with. Didn't hold on himself. Sam Blanchett, Blanchett. Just trying to time his pass, gets the ball away, but it doesn't go to hand. Just a little bit of inexperience showing that from this young Exeter side. Yeah, and they get dragged in with a big overlap now for Gloucester, but Gloucester know they've done enough already. They're not going to expend too much energy, but this man might be. 
just look at him go. He's got such a long gait, hasn't he? He eats up the ground as he goes. Surely it cannot be too long before he moves up to England's senior level. Watch this. Head down, I'm not going to chase you down. And immediately the try was scored. He was looking at the bench to say, I am blowing a bit, you know. But Johnny Mate still got plenty in his tank. It's worth mentioning Gloucester's defensive effort as well. They've been fantastic in attack. They've looked so comfortable. Even when they're broken, their scramble defence works their way in. Trinder gets the ball out to Shane Monaghan, and Monaghan, the Irish winger they just signed from Rotherham Titans, gets a de debut try for the Cherry and Whites, and it really was an all-consuming, very entertaining and impressive opening gambit from the home side.